Hey, this is a tutorial on how to solve a Siamese cube using the Gen 2 method. And the Gen 2 method is using only two faces to solve a cube, like this face and this face. Well, when solving a Siamese cube, you solve for the top right cube first, and then you simply flip it over and solve for this, this cube. Yeah, so you can solve for both of them at the same time. Well, I can't, because I'm not really a genius. So if you're a genius, you can solve for both cubes at once. But I'm only going to teach you how to solve one cube at a time. Now, I'm going to teach you the orientation. The orientation of Siamese cube is very simple, actually. You only need to know two faces. That's Gen 2, two faces, is the up and the right. And sometimes in algorithm you'll see a, a, a little r, and that's just both right faces. It's pretty simple. And a u, and then a u inverted, and an r inverted, and a little r inverted. Yeah, and it's pretty simple. Now that you know the orientation, I'm going to go ahead and scramble. Okay. The first step in solving a Siamese cube is orientating the centers. And in the Siamese cube, you have this thing called a pseudo center that never changes right here and in the back. And it's really easy to orientate. All you do is find the color here and match it up with the correct center. So that was really easy. Now we need to create a pseudo cross, a three quarters of a cross on the bottom, like right here. So first step is finding the yellow and red piece. And it's right here, the red, yellow, yellow, red. And we want to put it in the top layer. That's pretty simple to do. Okay. Now that you have it in the top layer, if it's set up where it aligns with the yellow side, like this, you can just do a, a little r, u2, and a little r inverted, and it just inserts it. But if you have a, if you have it where it's flipped around, around the wrong way, you can do another really easy short algorithm. It's little r, u, r inverted, little r, u inverted, and little r2, and that brings it together, and now we want to solve for this edge, and let's find it, it's right here, and it doesn't line up with the green color, so we can't just do an r2 and insert it down here, so we have to synthesize, because usually when you're solving for a 3x3, three three, you would do put it here and then you do a front then insert it and then flip it back around but since we can't do that what we do is we put it in the front right here and do a little r u r inverted u inverted little r inverted and that drops in here and the next situation with this edge is if it's already lined up and on the top layer you can just do an r2 and it puts it down in here for the last edge, you want to put the other side in front and line it up. And it's the exact same as solving for this one, except it's mirrored. So if it's already lined up, little l inverted, u2, and then little l, and that puts it in. But if it's... And if it's different, give me a sec. Red, green, red, green, red, green, red. And if it's flipped around the wrong way, like right here, and you can't just do an, a U2 and bring it in, it's the exact same you do, um, except you do an up. A, you know, we have it in front, yeah, a little L inverted, up inverted, then... Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the only thing I can tell you about the left is that it's the exact same. Just backwards. Okay. 
There we go. Okay. Edge flipped around the wrong way. It needs to go down here. You do a little L inverted. A up inverted. Then a... <laughs> like this. And... Oh, okay, yeah, never mind, forget that. It's actually really simple. You just do a, a U, middle, away, U inverted, and a middle towards end that puts it in. So, okay, that took way much longer than it should have. Now, for the next part, you need to get these edges in. This edge and this edge. So, to line up this edge, the yellow and green, and we just want to insert it, right? Do a simple... R up inverted and a R inverted that puts it in that puts it in but if it's like this and you do it it puts it in backwards so what we want to do is put it in the front where it lines up and do a little R U R inverted U inverted and a middle towards you and that puts it in here now we want to flip the cube around and get the last edge in and that's really easy. If it's set up where it's flipped the wrong way, you can just do a L inverted U and an L, an L, and that will put it in. And it's the mirrored image. If it's flipped the right, if it's lined up with this color, let me go ahead and do that. Let me. Okay. Okay, if it's lined up with the front color like this, it's the same thing. You just do a little L inverted U, L, U, invert, or U, and then towards U. That's really simple. And now we want to get these corners. And for the corners, you need to separate the edge pairs if they're incorrect, like this. And you, the goal is to get the bottom color on top of the corner, like like that. So we want to put the edge back, keep the edge, and we have this color on top. And we want to do this really short algorithm, that's only like six moves, to put it in. And you put the corner in the top left, diagonal from where it's supposed to go, and the red on top. If the red's not on top, just go ahead and hold on, I'll get to that later. You do a really simple, actually you know what, if it's not flipped around the right way, just go ahead and put it here anyways and do the algorithm. Okay. R, U, R inverted. Wait, right? Oh, wait. Up inverted, U inverted, R, U2, R inverted, U, R inverted, oh, R, U inverted, and, and R inverted. And that should have dropped it down in there. 